Hello, this is Colt again, Spit and Tax Upholstery. We're doing an ATV seat. We showed you how to put scrim, a topper pad, uh, um, basically how to pull the staples, pull the old skin off. The foam was fine. We put a new topper down, this uh, quarter inch scrim. Uh, scrim side up, so it's foam to foam. And uh, I showed you how to tug it and pull it around and then leave a half inch because that half inch will fold under the edge of the seat so you, you know, so it won't wear, you know, on, on the metal frame of the ATV. So now we're putting on the black vinyl that we cut in the video when we started off, cut it too big. So basically this is, uh, we're gonna glue it down with about, you know, we're gonna write, leave, leave all the edges unglued so we have room to tug and and use the heat gun okay this is a technique that i use works really good you just got to be mindful don't get too close but get it hot take your time to where it's malleable 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 that's a tough one okay so we're going to start off i've laid it out to where we have enough on this side, this side, the front and the back. I centered my piece of vinyl. I'm gonna take my glue, I'm gonna start in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna glue that. See how I come up right to the edge? Now we have that half inch, okay? Remember we have that half inch all the way around. So be mindful of that. So I'm going to leave those edges. And just when I start this, okay, I'm gonna come right up over the edge of the seat, okay? And I'm gonna leave about that much all the way around, okay? I'm gonna start this first part. You wanna glue it up real good. Just come up to the edge of your vinyl. Do it equally distant all the way on both sides. So you leave that, that unglued all the way around the edge. Start at your top, okay? Come right up to where your vinyl is. You're doing half this seat at a time. So we're gonna come up right before the top. Okay, then you come in with your hands. You just keep it flat and come right on up to the top, okay? And lay it over the top. Then you can come from the back and pull it like this. You see that? You can pull it. So you get that first, that first half of the seat. See, there's the back half. That's not glued. The first half is. Okay, and then you're gonna pull it up like this and start, start your glue towards the outside. But this is where you take your heat gun and you heat up your vinyl. Just come back like this and start working it keep it flat as long as you got this first piece done you're good okay so just heat it up you get that middle piece dry these outside edges they'll be all right They'll tack up. You see, you start pulling it. You just start pulling it and working it. You get this hot. About that far away, you'll be able to feel it with your hand. You don't want it, you can get close here and there, but then back off and then come back about 12 inches to 20 inches. Go around the whole thing and just get that vinyl hot, okay? You want it hot. That middle piece, keep working it with your hand. Okay, this, this the center, so tilt the camera up a little bit, thank you. The center is important, okay? That's your main focus. The outside edges, they'll come. They'll lay down as this warms up. See how that's warming up and laying down? You see that little dimple on both sides? Little trick. And you can tug and pull, put your forearm down and pull like that and give it a little heat, okay? Okay, pull it up, you see that? Little heat. Come to your back. <laughs> you want to walk around this whole thing like this. And keep it warm. Once you start, you want to keep this warm because once you back off and let it cool down, it's going to lock in real good. 
But see, if you want that first, that first push, you want that. You see how I'm leaning out like that? And see, we see how we went down with the glue. It's slowly starting to bite there. But this first part, you see that? Like if you you'll have a couple creases there, but when you go to pull it around the edge, that'll pull out. Don't don't overthink that. This this main field, okay? And you just want to heat that seat up, both sides. You just want to keep it alive, keep it going, to where you got this thing up to temperature. That's the key to working with marine vinyl or vinyl, period. You come back like this and you see how I pull this? It still comes right out. So don't be fooled by that. Your main thing right now is you're heating it up. And you can see where the glue stops right here. We'll get our sides real receptive all the way around to the back. Up front. Okay. So now we'll bring this back piece up, pull the sides. Okay, and then we're we're gonna we're gonna put our like this, our chest on. You see how I pull that? You see how that is? So we're pulling that and this is creating a memory. Before you go stapling that, you wanna you wanna hold it like this. This will this will give it memory so you're really working it okay you're leaning into it like this like i let go and you see a couple little wrinkles that ain't nothing because that's going to pull out see how that pulls out so you're contouring you're creating a memory and don't glue all the way to the don't glue the whole seat just enough <clears throat> okay now the heat had backed off and i've been playing with it okay Pushing it down so that outside glue is starting to bite. See how I'll pull it? I'm, my chest is holding it down. See how I see that little wrinkle? See how that vanishes when I pull with my left arm? See this one on this side? I pull with my left arm. Bam, it vanishes. So it'll vanish. You did it. You pull it down like this. This is the first half. Now the heat's starting to dissipate and the glue's starting to react. Okay? And then you just you manipulate that seat. Got to give it the love. Okay. You just kind of, you know, lean into it like this. Sit for a few minutes. So you use your chest, you use your stomach, all kinds of stuff. Isn't that crazy? See how flat that is? See where that, see, everywhere I glued, I warmed it up and then I started to manipulate it. Pull it, put your chest on it, lean into it. One piece at a time. And see, it'll always remember that. Come over here, do the same thing again. You work it, manipulate it. So now, that scrim is glued down. Okay, it's been locked in, it's been sitting there half an hour. Then you start this. I like to start in the front, you know, so I can push away and pull around. And it's just memory. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Now I pull this up, little pop. Now you see how I, it resistance begins. That's where the glue, see where the glue? And we leave all this open down here. You don't wanna glue that. It's just where you're sitting, where your legs, inside of your legs are, in the top and around, and then up over the butt because you have to, you have to pull that. So you, you know, you'll be right here, glue right there on that roundness. Glue right there. Okay, you with me? So now we're gonna start this part. And don't overthink this, okay? Just pull it to where it resists. Okay, we just did the, the front. Then we lay it back over, you know, lay it flat. Pull it to where it stops, okay? And then start. Bam. And get that middle, that middle, that middle, okay? And then we're gonna come, see these roundnesses on the on seats? You just wanna get the top of that round. See that? You wanna leave all that unglued. 
and come right back to there. Okay, because you need all this to pull and staple with, in, with your heat gun. This is how you do gen, dental chairs too. Not sure if I'm gonna give up too many of my dental chair secrets. <laughs> but, uh, you see how I'm doing that? Just the contour, because this is the bite. This is the forever glue. And this, this scrim, this fabric, yeah, it's locked in. So that glue's we weeping through that, that fabric and into that foam. So it's glued on both sides. Yeah, this is how you do it. We want it real wet when we start this. Or I mean, a real good heavy application, especially back here. Okay, so we'll just give it a few, I mean, seconds literally to tack up and then we'll fire up the heat gun again and then we'll start working it. While you're waiting, you can eat, well, no. So again, you put your hand on the seat. See how flat that's laying? Put your hand on the seat. So you roll it up. It's rolling flat, it's rolling flat. And you come down. Grab the bottom of the seat, come down and push. And as you push, pull your outside. See that? You wanna pull it up and lay it down, okay? And hold that, and then on this side, you wanna pull it up and out, out and lay it down, okay? And make sure that you've got that, you've got that stretch in the middle, first of all. Bam, you got that stretch, and then you grab it like this, pull it up, and then lean it out and manipulate it just enough around that corner. And use your hands. This heat gun's gonna pull all them wrinkles out. You see how we got that nice round butt there? That's what we're looking for. Now this side, we grab that extra salvage because that's why I left it, because you need it. Now you pull it back up, the glue's still wet. You can still work it. You use your hand, come down and out, okay? But you wanna, or like this, you use your elbows. You see how that glue's coming up? See how that's coming up? Grab it like this, pull it out, use your hand and, and work it to where it's flat and it just touches that glue. Okay, and the rest we'll do with the heat gun. But this first, that first approach, when you start that, that descent, that's what you're looking for right there. Okay, see how you can see where the glue's biting, right? So remember the field and then pull up and then start working your way around. And then when you go to the back, you pull it up and pull that field down. You get that field down and then grab your outside edges, pull that down. See how that is? And then you keep working it like we did the front. This is creating memory. Vinyl is very forgiving and it has memory. Okay, and we'll lean on it, we'll come up here again like this, we'll pull up, pull down. You see how that all is flat? See that? Just to the glue, just to the glue. And then, you, and then that back and forward and back and forward and back. Back, back, back. Right? Come on. Not bad for a dumb old Irishman. Okay, so, and then just get into the habit of, while you're waiting for that glue to set, and it's already set, but just, you know, run your hands down. You can run your hands down. And that remaining glue, okay? Run your hands down. Move your seat, pick up your excess. See how it pulls out like that? You can see that, see that margin? Perfect. That's what we're hunting for. But the key to it is the field, the top of the field. You know, you lay that down in front and how you manipulate the salvage that's around it is key as you just saw me do. But you start in the middle, pull up, 
work your glue while it's still wet and it'll start tacking up and just the heat of your hand will get it to set like that. But that's your main goal is the top of that seat and just around them bottoms, kind of like a bolster on a car seat on these parts. And so we have, uh, it's as good as it gets. It's beautiful. All right, so that's that. All right, and I've worked it enough to where, and as you'll see when I go pulling, you see that? How that's gonna pull out with the heat gun. That'll release and it won't leave any kind of, it won't show. See how the, how the where the glue stops? Yeah. So now what we do is we don't need the board anymore because we're not gluing. And I just took the board off. So what I like to do is, um, where's my, where's my air blower? Come on now, it's probably sitting right there in this. So, see those little wood chips? See those? for the compressor. That's old Betsy. So now, at this stage, we have our field done, okay? And, I, and then our outside edges, we have our roundness across the back. Most of these seats are a lot, they're, they're always tapered in the front like this and they crest up. Whether it's a, a snowmobile seat or whether it's an ATV seat, you know, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, they all crest up and they all have that rump on them, okay? So you know how to do this. You start in the field and you, you know, you leave the glue, don't glue all the way around the edges. So now you have your heat gun. We started in the front with the foam and we started in the front with the vinyl. So we're going to start in the front again. Okay, so I'm gonna come around the front here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake this vinyl back up again. It's, it's warm to the touch, but you want it, you want it hot when you start, start this. Cause now this is just heat and staple, okay? Heat gun and staple. All your margins are wide open. You've anchored the middle, okay? And that's, that has to be flat as a board. Now you're manipulating these outside edges. You're bringing them up to temperature, hot, but not enough to melt it. You start seeing that, that pebble grain on that vinyl start to change or something, back up, whoa. Okay, so I like to go way out in the field because it's all symbiont, it's all connected. It's like skin almost. So you want to heat up way behind, way beside, way in front around the area that you're going to try to manipulate. So I, I want to wake it all up because I'm going to move quick once I start this. I get my whole front end. You see how I pull that? You see how that went flat? That's what we're after. So I got my little divots here, my little dimples. You can see where the glue is and where it isn't. So we're, we're heating all this up in front. We got a 3 8 inch crown and a 3 8 inch leg on our staples. Fine wire staples running a BIA. I think it's one of the best staple guns there is for upholstery. They're very consistent. They're receptive to uh, the settings on your compressor. If you want to go a shallow staple or you need a real aggressive one, yeah, they, they are remarkable and they last. They're worth every penny. Okay, so 
Like I said, I'm just waking up this front. And you need this extra. So you got you gotta have something to tug and work to get this look. <laughs> okay, that should be good enough. So sometimes you can you can take it, you can lean into it like that. You give it a tug. You see how all that goes away? So what I like to do first is I'll I'll tug them like that, and then I know. And I'll come up like this in my front. Okay, so we'll bring it right up here. Bam, and I like to go wide, come right up to the margin. Okay, and then if you'll notice, you see that? How it comes down, it comes down and then you have that lip. Now watch how I pull, see that? See that? This is where so we got our, and don't be afraid to set a staple, but if you'll notice, see how I come short of my edges? I'm doing that on purpose because here in a second, what we're gonna do. Okay, now we have the front anchored, okay? And you can see, you see that? See how flat that is? So now, we have, we, whoop, we pulled one out. That's fine. Okay. Whew. It's getting warm in here. So we're gonna, we're gonna come back over here. I like my front. Okay. So I'm going to heat up my sides real good. It goes quick once you got this. You see that? So we're going to get these nice and warm. And so basically on a seat, you have two sides. Right in the middle. Right where that, that, that edge is. Right in the middle. You can manipulate your front. As long as you're mindful of how it's laying on the side, it, it'll all go the same way through the back. But you have to manipulate and twist this as you go. You'll be turning it as you're stapling it. So you'll heat it up like this. Like I'm getting it real good. Okay? In the front and on the sides. And what? Once you have, once you have it pretty much where you want it, I always, I'll always come through and, and take off a little in the middle of the front. It's just, I like, because it, it shows me where I'm at a little bit better. So, and don't panic, you're doing good. You'll see how you pull it side down. See that side gets pulled down? You see that little lip? You pull the sides down first, okay? And then you come back and fix this little dog ear last. This is important. Okay, and be mindful of what's underneath it there. You know how far down you're gonna staple. So, we again, we push it out down to that little elbow, okay? And make sure it's all flat. And you gotta remember that you're going towards the back too. So like this, like this, boom. I'm happy with that. Pull that up. And then come back down in and look and give it a pull, give it a tug, come back down and try to lay your vinyl flat as you go. See that? That's just my sweat on there. So now that little dog ear. Then you go back 
Okay, once you have that perimeter, you see how they wrinkle up like that? That's nothing. You come back later and you fix those like that. See that? And then it cuts real nice. But you don't want to go further than that. You want to stay about three quarters of an inch from that margin all the way around to keep it tidy. You don't want it long and short and long and short. It's got to look nice underneath as well. Okay, so remember how I manipulated that, pulled it forward, did the, did the front first, then worked on my sides, okay? And made and was mindful of my back. Now see my back's wrinkled up like that? I just lay it flat and it's ready to go. It's ready to pull again. So you, you, you think of the middle of the seat and you manipulate the front, but be mindful of the back as you manipulate the side. It's all the way around. You gotta be looking back beside the whole time. You'll get it, don't panic. So now that dog ear I left there on that front. Now I'll grab my heat gun again. I'll come underneath. And then you can come underneath too. But that, be careful of that foam. You don't want to burn that foam. But you can heat up the bottom and the edges like this and the field. Okay. And then go back on top. And then come back here too. You want it relaxed. You don't want to tax it. You don't want to distort it. So you're all over. You want to keep that warm, that whole piece. Not, don't concentrate on just one piece. Make sure, you know, you know, you can, you can wiggle up over here, down here too, while you're doing this. This, because it's all going to get addressed. So you can come around while you're doing this. You know, give it a little bit of love. Make sure you're warm, the, your room is warm. Okay? And then go back and attack that one area that you're going to be working on. So that's hot enough for me. So, now, if you watch. Got my, got my staple gun. Be mindful of any staples that you took off aren't on the table. Always do that. I've messed up lots of stuff in the past, having staples laying there that I pulled off and forgot about them and they poked a hole in the field. Got to start all over. You're burnt. You don't want to mess this up. Okay, so you'll notice how I, you know, I felt it out on that one side and started up and then left a big room for tugging and pulling. Now see how I'm tugging and pulling? I left enough. Now, now if you look, you see that foam I left, the, there's a half inch that we steamed out and a, a half inch that I left there. So you may, which I'm going to do right now, grab, uh, remember we had a three eighths inch leg. Okay, now I'm using a nine sixteenths inch leg. Okay, this is three eighths, three eighths wide and tall. This is three eighths wide, same thing, but it's way taller. You know why? Because it has to go through that foam, so it'll bite, right? So, once you get to this point, put in a, a taller staple, okay? So now I'll show you why. Now, always go back to the field and look, all right? I like that, I like that, okay? So I'm going to, like if it, if it crests like that, I start in the middle. See that? And then I can adjust and adjust on the outside. So I'll start in the middle like this. Be mindful of what's underneath. And now I have that big long staple. And it'll go right through that foam and right into that plastic frame. See that? How nice. That won't pull out. So now, if you'll notice that, now I can adjust. Now see? See how I pull that tight? Perfect. Perfect. That, I mean, that's how it's done. And then you see underneath. So you see how you gather up? See that last staple? So I'll just go on top of that one, but I'll pull it down to where, as I staple, I tug. I tug and I twist. And I keep the distance from the top here to the bottom. See how my staples are consistent? You have to keep them that way. And then go back and look once in a while and push. Okay, you're manipulating, but you want it flat. Okay, you want to avoid as many wrinkles as you can or creases. And you twist it as you staple it. Straight up and down, try to keep your gun right. 
Okay, now that one, see, I'll, I'll just come forward with that one. And then one in the middle, one on the outside. I got to have it hot in here when I'm, uh, when we're doing vinyl work like this, you got to have it warm. So I got the fire going and as you can see, it works. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. See that? Better get a better view once I, so now I come down and just for until I'm ready, I'll leave one inch all the way around the bottom. Just in case I decide I see something I don't like, this is a good habit to get into, to tug and pull. And I come around and I leave an inch, fat inch. Boom, boom. Okay. So, you see what I mean? Look at the contour of that seat. See that? Tell me that's not handsome. That's, that's as good as it gets. And remember the old piece? Remember the old piece that they had right there in front? Remember this little piece? This is sewn on, okay, to get that contour. What did I just eliminate? This. This. Steam and staple. Heat gun. Hello? Flawless. One piece just like shrink wrapped over your seat. This is how you do it. And you're welcome. You know, this is a big deal. Uh, lots of people, almost everybody doesn't know how to do what I just showed you. So, that's it, okay? And then I'll do, uh, how much time we got on this? About 31 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. So I've shown you the technique. Now I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna come back with another video in just a minute, all right? I love you. I'll see you around like a donut in a moment.